time around, we're going to be linking up with um, Niger's, a Nigerian table tennis player who is highly rated by a lot of table tennis uh, watches in the country. I'm talking about Mati Taiwo, who's just 70 years old. He's going to be joining us on the show from Portugal. Mati, good morning. It's great to have you on the show. How are you? How are you doing this morning? Good morning, sir. I'm good. What about you? Yeah, we're good over here as well. It's good to see you looking uh, very well. How have you been? you in Portugal uh, at the moment. Uh, when did you get to Portugal and how's the experience been like? Um, I got to uh, Portugal around February and the experience here is so great. I feel so great with my loved ones and uh, the environment is cool and the experience is so good. I can see, I can practice with good facilities and good coaches and players. Interesting. So, so, so what, 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 what's taking you to uh, Portugal? Uh, what are you doing there at the moment? Right now, at the moment, I'm practicing at the sporting club of Portugal, uh, the current sporting. club of Aruna Kodri. Okay. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Now, let me ask you, I mean, at two of you were already the National Youth Games champion, you know, winning a gold medal at that time. Why tennis? Why did you choose tennis? Because usually, young boys growing up, everybody wants to play football. Why did you decide to say, okay, tennis is for me? Um, actually, I love football, but normally, I normally fo followed my brother to the National uh, Sports Stadium in Ondo. So there, I gained interest in playing table tennis. He's also a table tennis player, so I gained okay. interest in playing table tennis from there. <laughs> So it's in the family, interesting. We're seeing pictures yeah. uh, right yeah. now of you uh, in a training session uh, with the great uh, Aruna Quadri. I mean, how's it been like being uh, trained uh, by such a legend of the game? Oh, I feel so great and happy playing with one of the best tennis players in the world. And with that, I have more courage and confidence in playing the game. Mm. Interesting, he gets confidence uh, training against uh, uh, playing and being trained by uh, Aaron or Quadri. Cecilia? Yeah, I mean, in yeah. April, with no uh, current world ranking and all that, you competed in four finals at the 2019 Ghana Junior Cadets Open in Accra, winning two titles. What was that like for you? Wow, I was so happy when I played, the, when I won the African junior championship in Ghana. I wasn't expecting that type of result, but mm. with so much training and hard working, I think I gained it from that. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was such a fantastic uh, performance yeah. uh, because he got to four finals, he ended up winning uh, two titles, which is uh, quite uh, remarkable. And because of everything uh, you've been able to achieve at such a young age, you're just 17, uh, table tennis watches uh, in the country, across the world actually tipping you for great things. I remember a couple of weeks ago on the show, uh, the former NTT president, Anita Waida Shuri, said you're going to be a great player. How are you dealing with uh, such expectations? Wow, I feel so great hearing that from the from our Nigerian Table Tennis Federation. And I promise to, uh, to play more and to come out in flying colors. And to win more championships. Fantastic, indeed. Of course, you have to play. You have a lot to uh, live up to because uh, when they start telling you you're going to be great and all of that, you have to, of course, work very hard and stay grounded and humble uh, to be able to achieve. Uh, you, go, you said Thank you were actually uh, training in Portugal. Like, when is it going to be over? When are you coming back to Nigeria, if you're coming at all? Um, as soon as the pandemic is over, I will be coming back to Nigeria. Mm. And when you come back, what are you going to be up to? Are you going, are you going to school? Are you going to be playing table tennis in school? Or what, what's going to be up when you come back? Yeah, I'm combining my, both my education and sporting activities together. Mm. So, Inter yeah, after, after school, I can go to practice or before or uh, after practice, I can go to school. It depends how, on. Okay, how do you manage that? Because usually it can be very difficult, especially if you want to remain here in Nigeria or you intend to move to Portugal permanently. Yeah, it's so difficult in combining both sport and education together. But I think 
I'm going to work things out. How are you going and, to do that? <laughs> um, if it's possible for me to study online, I can do that. Wow. Or, yeah, if it's possible for me to study online or to go to some, um, like, net classes or mm. part-time classes, I, I think I will have to do something about that. So, uh, sounds, sounds like you're determined to actually... You know, you know, finish your, I mean, school and combine, uh, you know, uh, with uh, your sports, which is very, very good because uh, these days, uh, um, you, it's important. Uh, education is so important, even for sports. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, there's no doubt uh, about it at all. Um, I mean, you, you're highly rated, and everyone is tipping you for great things. Um, there's also a great young player in Nigeria, uh, Aziza Sholanke. Sholanke, yeah. Sholanke, yeah. Do you consider him a rival? Like, what's the relationship like between the two of you? Oh, uh, I don't consider him as a as a rival. We are both in the same team, and I wish both of us and I wish all jun all our junior players success in their game and in the future. Okay. Yeah. The 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 only rival we have are. The players from other countries like Egypt, <laughs> Algeria, Tunisia, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Being in Portugal and learning a lot and training and all that, how much has it improved in your game? I mean, what are the things you're picking from it? Oh, I've learned a lot from here, from uh, Aruna Kodri, from Bodia, Biodrin, and from, the, uh, from other Portuguese players. Mm. I really learned a lot from them. Mm, in, term, of in terms of in, in terms of skills and yeah. other other things here, yeah. other aspects of the game as well too that other, you've uh, definitely yeah. uh, learned uh, from these very experienced uh, players. Indeed, I imagine, I believe, uh, at the end of it all, you want to become a professional uh, tennis player, and you're already dreaming about that. You've been to Portugal. You see how uh, you know the league is being run, and you see how competitive. And now very exciting it is. So I believe you want yeah. to be in that situation as well. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, oh, I don't know. Have you had scouts coming around to see to see you train? Uh, perhaps there are potential uh, clubs that might be interested in you. Oh, uh, currently not yet. But I hope in the future I get I get a uh, contract get from a good club. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, interesting. I mean, I was looking at, you know, just reading through some of the things you've achieved at this particular young age. What will be that dream you really want to, you know, I mean, aspire to be? That particular, uh, that particular target you're aiming for? Um, my uh, my and objective is to become the world champion and to break some record in which uh, African players not yet break. Like uh, Aruna Kodri being the first Africa to reach the Olympics quarterfinal. And I also wish to be the first Africa to be the world champion or to be an Olympic champion. Wow. Interesting. Big, big, <laughs> big dreams. Big dreams indeed. But if you can dream it, you yeah. can do it. Of Why course. not? You, you, can, you can do all that. We want to thank you, Tai Womanti, for taking our time you know, to talk to us thank this you. morning. All the best. Thank I mean, you just very wish much. you all the best, all the good things you wish you said. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.